All right, so in this problem, I have 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with 100 to the power of x is equal to 200. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I have log of 100 to the power of x is equal to log 200. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 100 is equal to log 200. Now if I divide both sides by log 100, These two cancel out and I have x is equal to log 200 over log 100. Now 200, that's the same thing as 100 times two. Now I have this over log 100. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 100 times 2, that's equal to log 100 plus log 2. And I have this over log 100. Now, log 100 plus log 2 over log 100, that's the same thing as log 100 over log 100 plus log 2 over log 100. And log 100 over log 100, those two simply cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 100. Now, 100 here, this is the same thing as 10 squared. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log of 10 squared. And remember, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over 2 times log 10 is simply 1. And log of 2 that's equal to 0 0.301 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus 0 0.1505, which is equal to 1 1.1505. So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 18 is equal to 81 to the power of x. So I want to find the value of x here. So to start, I'm going to first take the power of 1 over x on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So in this case, I have x 81 to the power of x to the power of 1 over x, and I have x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over x. So this is the same thing as x to the power of 18 times 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of x times 1 over x. So then these two cancel out. I'm left with x to the power of 18 over x is equal to 81. Now if I subtract 81 on both sides, or sorry, actually if I subtract x to the power of 18 over x on both sides, These two cancel out and I have zero is equal to 81 minus x to the power of 18 over x. And now I'm gonna rewrite this as zero is equal to 81 minus x to the power of 
1 over x to the power of 18. So I simply wrote this like this in this form. Now, if I take the power of 1 over 18 on both sides, I get 0 is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18 minus x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 18 to the power of 1 over 18. And then these two cancel out, and I get 0 is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18 minus x to the power of 1 over x. So now if I add x to the power of 1 over x on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 81 to the power of 1 over 18. Now, 81 this is the same thing as 9 squared, so now I have x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 9 squared to the power of 1 over 18. 2 times 1 over 18, that's 1 over 9, so I have x to the power of 1 over x is equal to 9 to the power of 1 over 9, meaning x is equal to 9. Alright guys, welcome back to Clear Dynamics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. So I obviously want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I first start with x to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2048. Now, well, 2048 this is the same thing as 1024 times 2, right? So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 2. Now I'm going to replace the value of 2048 with 1024 times 2. So now I have 1024 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n, and this is also the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, 2 to the power of 1024 times 2, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1048. Now, as you all probably know, 2 to the power of 2 that's simply equal to 4. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 1048. And now I'm going to repeat the same thing again. So again, 4 to the power of 1048, 1048. Sorry, this isn't 1048, this is 1024. So 1024 is equal to 512 times 2. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of 512 times 2. And again, I'm going to rewrite that as 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 512. Now again, 4 to the power of 2, that's obviously 16. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 512. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing again. 512. This is equal to 2 times 256. So now I have x to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 times 256, which is the same thing as 16 squared to the power of 256, which is the same thing as 256 to the power of 256, meaning x is 256.